The stylish and charming actress Dahlia Lavi won a place in our hearts for participating in many films and left us breathless with the amount of talent she had. Today, we'll be talking about Dahlia Lavi's little known secrets. Before letting you know these secrets, make sure to subscribe to this channel for 7 days of good luck, and of course, for more interesting videos like this to appear in your feed. Lavi was sexualized for her beauty. Lavie was no doubt one of the most beautiful actresses from the 60s, and her unique style caught everyone's attention. But being that astonishing is not always as great as it seems. Dahlia, being one of the many foreign star imports that took Hollywood by storm in the 60s, was sexualized like many others at the time. This was no easy thing to overcome. Being sexualized for having a good image limited Dahlia's ability to express who she really was. However, the talented actress kept going strong. She found herself in spy spoofs, erotic thrillers, crime mysteries, and rugged adventure-themed movies. The actress is half German, half Jewish. La Vie was born as Dahlia Leuenbuch in Palestine in 1942. Her parents were half German and half Jewish descendants. When she was just a little child, she was sent to the capital of Sweden to learn how to become a professional dancer. This was during the 1950s. In 1955, at the age of 13, she acted in her first drama film called The People of Hemzo, where she played the daughter of a professor. She joined the Israeli army. She would not appear in movies for the continuing years after her first release. When she got older, Dahlia went back to her home country in Israel, where she would soon go through the pain of her father's death. Because her father was a part of the Israeli army, this inspired her to join the same army and fight for her country. Not too much passed until she started gaining recognition because of her beauty and talents. This made her leave the army and start climbing the first steps of her career. Knowing how to speak several languages made her famous. Even before making it into Hollywood, she was already famous throughout Europe. La Vie knew numerous languages and knew how to speak them fluently. She began participating in many movies throughout Europe, often as a co-star in films. Some of her most early projects were during 1960, appearing in the German-Israeli film called Blazing Sand. In 1961, Dahlia co-starred together with Jean-Pierre Castle in Violent Summer. She continued building a reputation for herself throughout Europe, acting in No Time for Ecstasy, a 1961 war drama film co-starring Peter Van Eyck. She later started participating in a French crime mystery called The Game of Truth. In 1963, Lavie would take part in numerous other films such as Old Shatterhand, Cyrano d'Artagnan, There Too Much, and Ten Little Indians. She only gained international popularity when she played in American films. The famous actress soon moved to Hollywood, knowing her potential. In 1962, Lavie earned the newcomer Golden Globe Awards for her first American film debut, Two Weeks in Another Town. This made Dahlia Lavie reach international popularity. She would later continue her successful career releasing more hit movies, such as Lord Jim starring James Manson and Peter O'Toole, Spy with a Cold Nose playing as Princess Natasha, The Silencers playing as a double agent, and in 1967 she played a memorable role as an attractive enemy in Casino Royale. Her last appearance in films was in 1971. Dahlia's unique style can never be forgotten. Her high go-go boots, tights miniskirts, and her bob-cut black hair fit perfectly with the 1960s. No wonder she was known as the charming lady of the psychedelic 60s. However, after 1967, she started losing momentum rather quickly. She was part of the cast in Those Fantastic Flying Fools, Some Girls Do, and The High Commissioner. The last film she appeared in was a western comedy called Catlow in 1971. After the film released, she decided to quit acting once and for all. 
she quit acting to become a German singer. One year before Dahlia stopped acting, she was approached by a record producer named Jimmy Boeing. The offer was a great way to escape her old career and start a new one back in Germany. So, in 1970, La Vie started the first steps of her singing career. Her songs were a success, and she covered numerous artists and songwriters. In the 90s, she once briefly appeared on German television. She was sent to Israel after she passed away. Upon having two successful careers, Dolly retired due to old age during the 2000s. She continued living with her husband of 40 years, Charles Gans, in North Carolina. Sadly, she died on May 3, 2017 in her home due to natural causes. Her six children and husband then sent her to her native Israel, where her burial took place. Do you think Lavie made a good career choice switching from actress to singer? What do you think made her take this life-changing decision? Tell us your thoughts in the comment section down below. While you're still here, hit that notification button to get notified for more interesting video uploads.